one model is a snake, and this shows off the proximity sensor. It, uh, when you get in range, you will reach out and grab. It's also uh, controllable from a smartphone, this particular one. Uh, a little app can be used to make the snake go forwards and backwards and wriggle and reach out and grab something. shipping this summer. Um, virtually everything about it will be accessible. Uh, the new system also has enhanced wireless capability. Um, they put in a little chip that allows it to talk uh, via Bluetooth to iOS devices so finally you can control a Mindstorms from your uh, iPod or your smartphone. Um, it also has a USB port that allows you to attach a Wi-Fi dock so you can communicate with it via Wi-Fi. You can also use the Bluetooth to talk to the 7 um, Mindstorm kits together uh, for integrated activities. This set of robots are working together. You can place a chip on top of the color sensor, and once you do that, it tells this other robot to shoot at the target, uh, which then triggers the wheel. Um, the wheel matches your color. Um, the this final robot will come forward and give you a prize. And once you take your prize, a robot will come and uh, clean up the chips. Um, the kit is going to come in two forms. There will be a consumer version that's about $350 and then an educational version which will come with a whole bunch of kits uh, and uh, other equipment for uh, a classroom setting that will be about $5,000. That kit will also feature a rechargeable battery. The retail version will still use um, a regular sort of uh, AA battery system. Um, other things about it, it has 64 megabytes of memory space, of RAM, 16 megabytes of program space. Um, it also features upgraded display. Um, the sensors include um, new infrared sensor, new color sensors, and uh, the educational kit has a gyro sensor. So there's going to be a huge amount here to play with, uh, and I expect to see really amazing things come once uh, LEGO enthusiasts are getting their hands on this later in the year. So. That was LEGO's new Mindstorms revision, the first in about six years, so very exciting and uh, can't wait to get my hands on one myself. For Triple Spectrum, I'm Stephen Cass.